We're going to start by joining these two boards as a butt joint with dowels. My boards aren't perfectly straight, but this will be fine as an example. The jig comes with three different guides, and you have to pick based on the thickness of your material. In my case, this is a 2x6, so I'll just use this one, which is a 3 8 guide. To replace the drill guide, there are four screws on the back, and they can be removed with a supplied Allen key. I just finished drilling the holes and realized my explanation wasn't the best, so I hid them with tape and we can ignore them during this process. This is how the joint will be attached. I want to make sure the bottom here will be flush together, so we'll use this as a reference for the jig. That means we can add our mark on this panel. It's going to be a little bit tricky because of how my boards are cut. Here's my little tick mark. Now the jig will lay flat like this. So on this piece, I need to extend the line. So now when I'm ready to drill my holes, I can use a center line on the bottom plate and line it up with this line. For this piece, it's going to be like this. I'm going to extend the line going this way. And with the line on the inside face, you can use the jaw to line it up. If you have a little flashlight, you can also use a line that you'll see through the middle hole. And depending on the thickness of your stock, this little side hole might also work. Whoops, it's future me. I just realized that if I would have extended this line to the other side, like this, I could have also centered the guide by using the center mark here because of the way this is beveled. Before we drill, we're going to adjust the depth of cut for the drill bit. These are the dowels we're going to use. There's a collar on the drill bit, it uses the same Allen key. Once you put it in the guide, you just have to make sure that it's a little bit deeper than half of your dowel. Like this. Actually, we'll go a little bit more just for good measure. Now we can tighten the collar. 
and when it's tightened it's important that the set screw lands in the middle of a flat surface to not damage the edge so right here turn it a little bit there Let's double check. And we're ready to drill. Before we drill the holes, we have to establish their position. On the back of the jig, there's a little index mark so that every time you move it, it locks in one of those grooves. In our case, 5 8 seems about right. Once the jig is lined up, you can use one of these clamps to keep in place. Then you're ready to drill. Towels are in. This is how we marked our joint, so we'll put our pieces the same way. Everything seems to line up very well, other than the cupping on my board. But if they would have been straight boards, this clap gap would be closed perfectly. And this edge here is perfectly flat too. Since we're all set up and ready to go for 2x6 materials, let's do a miter joint. In this case, you just put your two pieces together, making sure they're aligned. Like this. Mark your spot, and you can extend your lines to make sure they're visible when it's time to clamp on the guide or the jig. How precisely you extend those lines is how precise your pieces are going to be joined together. So take your time. Now this is all set up for the same thickness, so we're good to go. And we're going to clamp it using the center line visible right here. I'm going to see if I can clamp it on both sides to try to get rid of that warp.
might work. Just going to repeat the same step on this piece. There you go. And before ending the video, I'll show you something else. Let's say you're looking at this and you'd like to add another dowel right here. Well, the kit comes with pins like this. And there's one pin for each drill guide. So what you can do is insert the pin and then like this so then if I clamp it in place I can drill an extra hole and I can repeat the same, same steps from the other side So now I have two extra holes, and if I do the same thing on the other piece, everything should line up. Got to make sure there's no debris here. There you go. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.